What's up, everybody? <laughs> what did I do when I woke up this morning, you ask? I watched tutorials of how to do a cat eye. Have I ever done a cat eye before? No. Did it turn out? Actually, okay, so it didn't, like, it didn't do the thing, but it also, like, didn't end up really bad. So, it's a success. But have I even washed my face yet today? No. Have I done anything else with my morning? So far, no. But for some reason, I, I woke up and just doing that really, really called to me. So I felt like I needed to do it. So anyways, what's up? I miss, I miss talking to the camera. I miss uploading. Like, you know, like, you know, I, I, there's a couple people that comment on my videos, believe it or not. And like, I like chatting with you guys. Like, it's cool. It's fun. It's, it's engaging. It makes me feel like social and cute. Like, you guys are cute. So, so I, I honestly kind of missed it. That's why today I figured... I know once I go back to work, I'm not probably going to vlog as much and I'm going to be a lot more busy and probably a little bit more stressed at first, just kind of like getting back into the feel of things. It's been a while since I've been back to work. Work is going to be a lot different now than it was before. So I figured like this is my last week of summer and it's really weird. I'm in Minnesota. I don't know. I feel like every other state started like a month ago, but we're starting September 10th. I figured I'm going to try to fill maybe like every day every other day try to just at least be like doing something fun every day to like kind of finish off my summer I feel like I did I did a lot this summer just kind of being outside and being secluded and being safe so I really enjoyed my summer overall I'm really sad to see it go but I just want to start kind of doing some fun things so welcome to me finally talking about what was in the title five minutes later after me just talking about nothing Hey, I took a lot of Polaroids when we, oh, I got sneeze, hold on, maybe not. Just think, guys. Okay, so when we were at that little tiny home, I took like 20 Polaroids, not that all of them turned out, but I really am not like a big Polaroid kind of gal, like I haven't really taken a whole lot in the past, I like bring it to things and I never end up really using it, but I think I have about like at least like 20-ish total that I really like that I've taken over like the last few years and I wanted to kind of make a little Polaroid setup. But the thing is, I'm at home and I don't want to go shopping. I've kind of looked online for like the ones with the clips and they're just kind of out of stock of all the ones in my area and I don't feel like ordering online. So if anyone is a big fan and remembers, when I made my like Pinterest mood IRL inspo board, I said that I had three different cork boards and I used two of them. So dun dun dun, we have a third to work with. So I just want everyone to hang out with me and make a little like Polaroid board. And it could be fun. It could be fun and it could turn out really cute or we could hate it and then we could try something else because I know it's hard for me because I feel like the girlies online always just like post them on the wall and they're cute little setup but I just feel like I don't have enough to have it on its own but then if you put it on a board it kind of like gives it a border and it kind of ties the whole thing in together. Sorry I sound like crap also. I'm just not realizing like I haven't spoken to anyone yet today so this is my morning voice and I'm like I just started drinking my coffee. Um, I have my little cold brew. I've had it in the fridge for like three days. I keep forgetting to drink it. So today was the day. Today was the day we're getting stuff done. Yo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um. <clears throat> um. Don't know what I was saying. So let's let's just give this a try. Um. I will maybe like explain more as we kind of get going. But I don't know. let's try to have a different setup and I get all the materials that I need. I'm looking at the viewfinder, that's my bad. Okay. Also, I'm wearing my cute little sweatshirt. I I did like an unboxing the, the day that I got this sweatshirt, but it's finally cold enough to wear it. Yay. Okay, so this one definitely is angled up and this one's angled out. It's a kitten eye. It's not a full cat. It's not the full grown. It's just a little, little kitten. It has some growth to do. Okay. Transition. New seed. Let's get started. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, that would have been cool, but it was blurry. And I also, it's the same moment. Okay, hold on. We'll be back, guys. <laughs> Surprise! We're in essentially the same spot we were before. Um, big shouts out. This video is brought to you in part by my Apple TV remote. Um, which is the real MVP. I think the camera is um, not crooked anymore because I used that as leverage on one side. Thank you, Apple Remote. We wouldn't we wouldn't be here without you. So we really appreciate you joining us today. So uh, this is the setup, so you can't. Let me just show you what I have. So just because this border is black, I thought, I was thinking like scotch tape would be cute, but uh, we don't have any. So I'm using this. This is also Josh's. I think it is called gaffer tape or gaffer tape. It's, I don't know, it's for like camera-y stuff. But we're using this because I think it's gonna match the black and then in here I just have all my Polaroids. So my plan is honestly just kinda start sticking it up there and see how it looks. And then because this was brand new, I actually have like wall mounting stuff and like directions. So this was like fresh, fresh out of the packaging. I probably bought this like eight years ago and just, and just never used it. Oh, those are so crooked. Okay, hold on. So it's gonna go a little something like this. So I actually don't know if I can talk and do this at the same time because even right now I screwed up, you can tell. <laughs> um, they're not at the same angle. Uh, so let's kick this one into high gear. You're gonna see me doing it fast. What does the angle look like? I don't know, I'm gonna figure this out when I'm editing and then be like, oh, they can't see anything I'm doing because that always happens. Okay, so the tutorial part of this is over. This is the vibe you're going for, and then you just keep it going. So. Sorry, I'm like really <laughs> obnoxious today. Um, who is this girl? Okay. Sleeves up. Let's get to work. like map it out I don't know what do you guys want to see is it is it I have to move everything okay so I started like staggering it you know, so we ended up taking some more out, which is fine. Cause like, I actually hated this one. It looked freaking weird in it. Good, it's blurry, perfect. I think this is gonna be the overall layout. Just gotta like tweak it a little bit and make it look kind of more symmetrical. But I think I like the little staggered look. I feel like I'm not gonna know if I hate this tape until it's all done. Like, is it that going to be obnoxious that it's all taped like that? Like, I just don't know. So, I guess I'm going to start trying to tape it down. One of those things where I'm like, maybe I should have like, like looked up other people doing this and like had like an inspo board or like an idea. Like, are these too thick? Do I need to move them all in so we see more corner? Like, also, do you guys ever do the thing where like halfway through you kind of like are like, oh, this is not gonna be good, and so then you kind of like you finish it, but you totally half ass the rest because you're like this is not good 
So I'm not going to like put my full effort into something that I already know I'm going to dislike. But I'm not going to not finish. You know? So then you're like, I, did I set myself up for failure by like stopping trying? Like maybe it would have been cooler. What do we think? What do we do? Do we try something else? I mean, I can just put tape behind it so that you don't see any tape and it's just Polaroids. And then I could do the layout that I was envisioning originally, which was not staggered. It, it kind of looks good from far away. Up close, it's bad, you guys. It's really bad. Maybe it'll be different when I see it on a computer, but I feel like it's not mm, where I over here. It, they're really close together, and over here they're not. Okay, well, if I'm being real with myself, I, I'm probably going to take this whole thing down and eventually retry it, either, like, on my wall. Maybe I will just order some string things. Because that's originally what I wanted to do, and I had a bunch of clothespins, but they're just they're so big. That you need the little cute clips like the like the pre-made string light things <sighs> so if we're being realistic i think that i don't want to make a rash decision so i'm probably just going to leave this for like a couple days and revisit like maybe it'll grow on me maybe i can go buy oh my god i can buy like some cute little stickers and like that could be fun okay well i did it um i <laughs> i did the thing i said i was gonna do and it's done and do we hate it excuse me or do we like it um what what's the thing we don't like if so is it the tape is it the size of the tape is it the angle of the tape is it how i did the pictures uh there's just so many variables on what i don't like that i don't know what i don't like or should i have done it like this way um, so comment down below why you hate this if you do, but needless to say, um, I will not be mounting this to a wall today. That's something that just is not going to happen because I don't want it on my wall until I have decided how I feel about it. What else am I even going to do today? It's nice out, but it's like fall nice, so I can't even like swim. I mean, I guess. Okay, so I need to get ready for the day. And do all my chores and things. Just adult things. I'll be honest, at this point I have nothing else nothing else on my agenda for the day. Um, maybe Josh will have like a cool, fun idea. I was really pumped on getting my summer bucket list done like on time, but then I realized like doing outdoorsy things in like September, October is actually way prettier than trying to get them all done in summer. So no rush, guys. Don't rush things. They don't even like, I mean set timelines. But, like, if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Don't stress about it. You know, like, do things that feel right. Do things when you want to do them. Like, especially if it's just for fun. Like, sometimes I get so, like, you know, like, I was like, oh, my God, I'm not even posting on YouTube this week. And I was like, oh, no, my 60 subscribers. Like, like no one's going to care. Like, no, nothing's going to blow up because you don't do something that you set. And it's good to set goals. But I think, and, like, I think routines are good. Goals are good. But I think you always need to revisit and think, is this working for me? Or is this hindering me? Is this making me feel stressed? Is this making me feel unmotivated? Is this making me feel like crazy? Like, is it making me so that I can't get things done because I've set unrealistic guidelines for myself? Like, always revisit things and I think you will get just as much done, you know? And like, I don't like, you know, for these college students out there, like my college advice is like, if you're not working on your paper, like don't stress about it. Like if you're not studying, like don't get stressed. Like think like I'll focus on it when I'm doing it. But if right now I wanna I wanna watch an episode of TV or like I wanna do something that makes me feel happy and that makes me feel fun, that makes me feel motivated to do things in life, like do that and like don't let the fact that there is a paper due tomorrow or next week or whatever. Don't let that ruin your fun time. Like if you're not doing homework, don't think about it. Because that's not your homework time. That's not your time to stress. That's not your time to ruin your fun things by thinking about other things. And then when you are focused, you're doing your work. Like, sit down and do your work. But if you're not doing it, don't be like, ah, well, I should be doing my homework right now. Like, but you're not. So don't think about it. Like, don't get in that mindset. And then when you do it, do it. Go all in. Because I used to, like, stress. And then when I would go to do it, I'd feel so, like, weighed down because I had just been stressed about it for so long. Sorry, I'm just like going on like, I'm good at giving advice, you guys. I'm like, I bet I'm old. So like, I've been through life. Like, come to me. I, I have words of wisdom. Like, 
I'm a wise old woman. I'm here to share my knowledge with all of you. If you have questions about the experience, let me know. It's different for everyone, obviously, but like I can still give guidance. But yeah, those are my words of wisdom for the day. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe this is actually just the end of the video. <laughs> and I just don't know it yet. We don't know it yet, you know? Like, I don't know. It's coming back. We don't know. Um. Oh. Uh, but now I feel like I need to do an outro because I just made it seem like the end of the video. Okay. Hey, self. Cut this out if it's actually not the outro. But if it is, thank you for watching. And I love you. And you're going to have the best day ever. You're going to make it the best day ever. Look in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are. Set up some positive affirmations. Thank the world for waking you up for another day. You're alive. You are well. Be thankful. Be grateful for every little thing you have. You have fresh air. You know, you have the sky outside to look at. Like, there's so many things that we take for granted that are always there for us and that will always make us hopefully feel better and feel alive and feel stimulated and feel happy. So count your blessings, even if, you know, they feel really stupid. Like, every morning I say thank you for waking up. Like, I'm going to do it every day and it's never going to be special more special one day than the other but it's always there and it's always something to be thankful for and it's good to start your day out with some gratitudes and some thankfulness and so do that today because you deserve it you deserve happiness you deserve to feel good for yourself and I love you there's my rant of positivity don't forget to let me know which which part specifically you hate about this so that I know how to change it but thanks for watching and I love you goodbye